Town or what is Haunt it called? Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion, Tinseltown. Yeah. Tinseltown. Like, whatever. After Christmas. You play as a ghost and you haunt a house. Yes. And and you haunt the house and you haunt the people inside the house and and uh, that's really sort of like a carnival almost. And your objective is to basically scare the bejesus out of everyone. Exactly. Yes. And uh, it's cool because there's been other games I've played before, but uh, yeah, it uh, you can animate anything like you can float around like you'd expect a ghost and like shake the lamp or shake like a poster with a muscle man or, or uh, go into a uh, a ghost or like no not a ghost a uh, like one of those uh, fortune tellers and have her go all tarot card on your their asses yeah so really you just you can possess people possess people no. move objects possess like possess objects you can't yeah. possess people because yeah. otherwise that would make the game way too easy yeah unless that's an unlockable thing you can do maybe maybe what well, the achievement we the achievement we got was uh, crash game <laughs> Yep. That's the easiest achievement usually we for us. We scare way too many people and the game just crashed because we knew that we were the scariest mofos in the world. Too loud. Too, too proud. Too offensive. Too scary. <laughs> Watch out Pennywise. There's a new f terror in town. Freddy Krueger? More like Freddy Duty. <laughs> Freddy Duty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I got nothing. I don't know how we, we managed to crash games. It's like a skill of us. Of ours. They're just jelly of our Super Saiyan swagger. <laughs> um, I really love the graphics in this game. The sounds, the music. Like It's got like a carnival... I don't know if you heard it in the menus, but the, it's sort of like a carnival theme to everything. Yeah. Um, it has a nice aesthetic to it. I just, I don't know why the game crashed, like it's been out for forever. I don't think enough people know about this game, which is kind of makes me sad because it's so well done. People, there are some people who know about this game. I, I was one of the few because I've seen it be played on Steam Train. Yeah. But I don't think it's an expensive game, it's just it's not very well known and it's a real shame because which is just seeing the reaction of everything is funny. It all known to the world. Or, or just Ottawa. Mostly Ottawa. Yeah, mostly Ontario. To the 100 or so subscribers we have on YouTube. And beyond. And one day we'll get that YouTube red play button. Mm. We'll get a beautiful Twitch button. We'll be a premium member on Twitch. Yep. Yep. One day. One day we'll be in machines, like in the Matrix, and we're going to be like on perma Twitch stream. We play the games like VR simulators and people will try to donate money to us but it's actually going to the machines that keep us in the simulations or it just goes to Chio ch ch, -ch -chio. yes so I think the biggest thing that we need to cover with this game is it crashed on us and we you know up until that point I think this game is fantastic yeah it, yes it had decently run up until the crash yes. so I've but it, it is definitely a game ending crash. Too. I think there were too many bright colors on screen at once. Like it wasn't like where we play Claybook where it's it's doing too much physical rendering and mathematical algorithms yeah. behind us. It's, it's the fact that it's just too shiny for us. Too shiny, too bad. Too shiny. <laughs> exactly. It was just too shiny and the game couldn't handle it. So that was the shame. Yeah. I give this game a Mm, I'll give this game an 8 out of 10. I I really like this game. I'm just wondering, like, how long is this game? Because the appeal is, like, the initial appeal is to see what interaction you have with everything. But I can totally see, like, once you've interacted with everything, it's sort of like... It's sort of like a sticker book, like... But there's no surprise to the sticker Maybe book. Like, okay, been there, done that, been there done that yeah been there. it sort of feels like oh I've got to scare 40 people and then if you start getting the similar I can see the scares sort of repeating after a while or it's sort of repetitive up. yeah if you scare too many people too quickly you'll end up getting beaten up with a baseball bat trust me that yeah. has happened to someone <laughs> someone you know <laughs> more or less okay I, I can see it you getting a heart attack from trying to scare everyone and it scares you in the end. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I just see like going around, floating around, scaring people. I think it there's that initial appeal, the graphics and everything, but I'm not sure. Like I really want to like it, but I'm kind of on the fence that it's a game that you know you can keep playing. Like I'm not sure if there's really death. I could since it did crash on us. It's sort of hard to say that. Yeah, it's really one of those games that because of how it was played and how it crashed, we couldn't give it a full 100% opinion on it. But from the little what we, we pl- played, from what we played of it, it seems pretty good. Mm-hmm. This is a good time waster. This is like something to play on like a Halloween night. And you can play it with your kids. It doesn't seem too scary. Yeah. In fact, if you have kids. It's more like a it's if more You have like cats, you can play with them too. Yeah, if you have babies, you can play with them too. You can play with your babies? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got nothing else to say. I, I think it's good, but hopefully it's not s- unstable this to the point where it keeps crashing every time you play. Time to vanish. All right. Ooh.